Wow, knife. I just love the Elon Valley. I know, it's stunning. But what is that coming up behind us? I think that looks like Laurel and Josh. I think they might be joining us this weekend. Awesome. How are you guys? We are Hannah and Nathan. And we are in Mid Wales. Reunited with Team Extreme. Put it this way, this is for sure a wet weekend. And while nothing seems to go right, why not come along and join us with the chaos? Rain, rain, go away. Come back another day. So the girls are driving today. We're just making our way to Hafford and we're just driving through the stunning Elan Valley. Oh no, the Elan Valley is so stunning. It's such a shame that it's covered in cloud. All the rain's coming, but... Never mind. I don't think I've ever seen the visibility to this badge. Oh, yeah. Nah, no, no. The Highland Coos. The Highland Coos. Is that the Highland Coos? Oh, is that one? No. Oh, they're just brown cows. Oh, they're just normal cows. But over there. I do keep keeping my eyes on the road, to be fair. I'll spot the bullock for you. You have arrived. You have reached your destination. It's absolutely packed. I don't know where we're going to park. Yeah, we're just here with Laurel and Josh. First time here with Laurel and Josh. And yeah, it feels really special that they're with us, doesn't it? Because it's one of our favourite places. So. Yeah, it's great to share. Say hello. <laughs> just creeping towards the Highland Coo. Lay down in the grass. Yeah, we're just doing the uh, gentleman's walk now. Uh, we're going to go over to Cavern's Cascade and Luella and Josh have got something to show us. They're going to show us a rope bridge. I was going to say, yeah, yeah, we've been here so many times and Luella and Josh have been here once before and they've seen this amazing rope bridge that we've never seen. So yeah, can't wait to see that. Yeah, first time for everything. So we've just had a bit of an incident with the drone. A uh, knife was flying it and flew it into those trees up there. Not the first drone, is it, that we nearly lost? Not <laughs> what? It's back! The storage is full. Right, let's start again. Yeah, but if a crash drone isn't stopping us, something else is. Oh, he likes that. There's some hide and coo here. First one to do, Leia. It's not usually you, the first one. Making our way up the gentleman's path through the woods, it wasn't long until we found a nice waterfall, somewhere nice to stop off for lunch. Lunch done, but before pressing on, we stopped at this epic bridge for more photos, before plodding on to the next Y mark of the route, the tunnel. So Cavern's Cascade is a little bit of a hidden gem, but from this sign is literally, it's just, just about 10 minutes. So we're all just about to enter Cavern's Cascade now. That way. We were super excited as Laurel and Josh were about to see what's lurking in this cave. Oh wow. Oh wow. Do you like? Yeah, I did, I enjoyed that. <laughs> Good. Pretty cool. So when we come on these trips, for some reason, Hannah, she always wants to pack light. So we've packed light, even though we knew it was going to be a wet weekend. Apparently I've still got too many coats, but I bought one pair of shoes. They're absolutely drenched. There's a lot of puddles in here. It's a fun of camping, but just get on with it. We're having a great weekend and there's plenty more to come. That's a lie actually, I bought two pairs of shoes, but the other pair is my wetsuit shoes, which they probably would have been more suited to this walk. So we've just got to that road bridge now that Laurel and Josh have brought us to, and I can't believe we've never seen it before, it's so cute, isn't it? Yeah, it's so quiet and all the moss on the rocks with the little gorge, it, oh yeah, it's like some out of the fairy tale, yeah. isn't it? Very green as well. Oh, it's lovely. What does it say? Warning, only two at a time to cross the bridge. There's just been four of us on it. We made it, we made it. So the ladies walk route that we did last year uh, in August and we did a swim stop. We've never actually seen it from this angle before. We were just on the green route. No, yeah, it was in our uh, Van Life Mid Wales blog and it, it looks incredible for me. It looks massive, it doesn't it? It does, look at this. 
Four hours later, um, 5.8 miles, and we are back at the vehicles. So we've left our mugs at Josh's. <laughs> so Laurel's come up with a good idea, because we've got no cup alternatives, to cut this carton in half, and then we can have our coffee and have one each. Save the day. Yep, thanks Laurel. You're welcome. Oh, this isn't sharp enough, like. Oh, it's just not like a symmetrical. This is what survival and camping is all about. It was like, oh, we're not going to have coffee to the Ralph's bright idea, and then we've got we've got a we've got a cart and a coffee. Now you've got disposable cups forever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so hot though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mass. Yeah. What you doing? What I'm always doing. Sleeping. Hi, Hafford. Hafford, even if you're Welsh. <laughs> that was great, wasn't it? It was, that was real good. Got one more little stop before we get to our base. And so, where are we going? We're going to the Arch, which is about five minute drive away. So, we'll be there shortly. Yep, yeah, see you there. Do you want to see if it knocks off a bit first? Uh, yeah. Wet Welsh weekend. That's what it is this weekend. It always rains in Wales. This place has some stunning walks with a great backdrop. But as the rain is getting heavier, it's just a selfie for us. We'll be back here for a better vlog in the winter, so for now, let's find our base and have a hot shower. At it again. There's all sheep left in the footwell. Yeah, Han's not very happy because uh, the footwells are just full of sheep shit. One, two, three, four. You won't let it rest, will you? Nope, I won't. So, we're all clean and showered, but the shoes, the only one pair, they're still wet. So, I'm just gonna uh, try and dry them ourself the wife probably won't be too happy because it'll probably make a mess of a floor but having said that if it works happy wife happy life do not get it on the floor she's coming back now so we'll find out whether it's a good idea or not so yeah as we said last week the downside of having a micro camper is bad weather and the fact we've only packed one pair of shoes but yeah this is reality i've got grass on the floor as well so i'm going to get told off yeah let's be getting that just one brush out clean up after yourself ah oh, that's better nice dry feet for the night just got to uh sweep up for the wife <laughs> Come back to a bulge. Oh. Oh. You're not wet, are you, Josh? You didn't get you. Well, I don't want to scare you. I hope you find it. I hope you don't like it chilled. It's not chilled. I don't know. Oh. Nice. Long <laughs> yarn. Socks and sandals, what's going oh, on? Yeah, absolutely <laughs> rocking, isn't it? And it stinks in here, what have you been doing? So this has never happened before. We got in the van, there were so many midges. Look, I've just had to spray the jungle formula. Look at all the midges that have just fallen off the ceiling. I don't even know where they've come from. This has never happened. What have to shout the duvet up outside, look at that. Bed bugs? It's literally not bed bugs, they are midges though. It will be fun, I said. Get a van, I said. It's nice to get out of wet clothes, isn't it? It is, but we, we just sprayed a load of jungle for me, so there's dead midges everywhere. Yeah, it stinks in here, so on that note, we're gonna go to bed and we'll see what tomorrow brings. Night, guys. Night. Morning. The weather today, this is the state of it. 
Yeah, nice knife dried his shoes out last night. I have no words. <laughs> Although Nath had four dry coats to choose from, neither of us had any dry shoes between us. So we decided to pack up our things and admit defeat. Saying this, we still had a fun-filled Team Extreme day with great company yesterday. We will be coming back here during our winter van life series. But in the meantime... Why not join us as we swap van life? For ship life! You're not going to believe this guys, we are on board the Disney Magic cruise ship sailing around the Norwegian fjords. The land of the Vikings. Ah, excited doesn't even cover it. So join us in two weeks from now for the first episode of our Cruising with Disney series. It's going to be a blast. Yeah, this luxury won't last guys. So we are going to make the most of it. Bon voyage!